Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You should always enter bills into QuickBooks as soon as you receive them. Use the Enter Bills window to do this. To enter a bill, select Vendors from the menu bar and then choose the Enter Bills command. The top half of the Enter Bills window is where you enter your bill information. The bottom half of the window is where you assign the bill amount to different expense accounts on the Expenses tab or list the inventory items that you have purchased on the Items tab. When entering bills for inventory items that have been received, note that the Bill Received checkbox at the top of the window has a check mark within it by default. You should only clear the check from this box if you are using QuickBooks for purchase orders and inventory and want to record items that you have received but have not been billed for yet. Removing the check from this checkbox changes this transaction into an item receipt instead. When entering a bill, select the name of the vendor that sent you the bill from the vendor drop-down. Ensure that you have entered the date on which you received the bill into the date field. You can then enter the bill's number into the reference number field. Then enter the amount of the bill into the amount due field. Now ensure that you have the correct due date set in the bill due field. For bills that you receive that are not related to purchasing inventory parts, you enter the expense account that this bill will affect on the Expenses tab at the bottom of the bill payment. That way, when you create the check that pays this bill, you won't need to re-enter any accounting information. Now note that on the Expenses tab, you can allocate the total amount of the bill that is entered into the Amount Due field between multiple expense accounts if needed. To do this, you would choose the first account that the bill affects and then enter the amount that will be attributed to that particular expense account in the Amount column. Then click down into the next row under the Account column and then select the next account that would be affected by the amount of the bill. Then enter the amount to attribute to the second selected account underneath the adjacent amount column. Then repeat this process as needed until you have allocated the total amount of the bill to all of the necessary expense accounts. Now once you have entered the bill and attributed it to the correct accounts, you can then save the bill by clicking the Save and Close button to save the bill and close the window, or by clicking the Save and New button to save the transaction, but leave the Enter Bills window open for further bill entry. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.